Hello everyone, it's me again, GW fan, the softcore brony. Welcome you back to the wind on Let's Play Mother 3. Whoosh, whoosh. Greetings. I have, I, well, I guess I've heard that that phrase before, but not very often. But this is the wind, uh, the word on the wind. <laughs> so, where rumors come from. And rumor has that the Kumatora is uh, a psychic user, or an esper. <laughs> Uh, if you're going by Japanese terminology, so... Yeah, and that's all for the word on the wind, because, like, as I said last time, she's the other Psy user of the game, besides Lucas. Uh, nothing. Well, we're not gonna go already, because... Let's take a look at Kumatora real quick. Uh, oh, well, first of all, she comes with, uh, just equipment only, but I've given her these two yogurts to hold on to as well. Uh, in between the videos there. Uh, she uses gloves to fight, not that she's really gonna need them that much. <laughs> she's, just like Paula and Sweetie Belle, she's better off using magic more often than not, because her, uh, attack power is not that, uh, high. Nor is her HP or defense, and her speed is pretty low as well, compared to most other characters. Uh, comparable to Boney, I think, like, her HP is, like, it's kind of hard to say. It's like it's lower, but not much. And I think her offense and defense are technically higher, but because Boney has his collars that power him up pretty well, uh, keep him up with the other party members, it's like usually higher than Kumatora's. So, anyway, she's best as a magic user. She has the highest PP in the game, or psychic points there. And, uh, like I said, she has Psy. Right now, off the bat, she starts off with PK Fire and PK Freeze. Uh, these are basically the same as they were in the last game. Uh, I know that enemies <laughs> who've used PK Freeze have only done like 30 points of damage, but this still has a base power of like 120. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's a lot better in our hands than it is in the hands of the uh, current enemies that we're fighting. Uh, a minor, uh, like these, like there's, I think they're actually or at least the stronger versions are, I think, are slightly weaker than they were in the previous game. But uh, another difference, this has an 8% chance of causing a status effect called burning, which I guess is basically like poison, except like a little weaker, I think. And then uh, PK Freeze. Uh, last game, it had a 20% chance of causing, uh, well, freezing, which would, you know, keep an enemy basically under like a wall staple status for like two or three turns. Uh, this time there's only an 8% chance that'll happen, so... Yeah, not so good. Oh! Before I forget, the magic pendant there, you'll see that it raises her maximum PP by 5 points. Yeah, some, uh, equipment in the game will raise her HP and PP as well, and, uh, other stats. Uh, so, uh, for the moment I'd like to keep that even though the flea charm would be better, and we're actually gonna get another flea charm momentarily. Let's see, if, I ro if we dash into the room, I, sh I think I should be able to catch this enemy off guard. Not quite. And I didn't want to fight both of them either. Ooh. Not that it's really that bad. He'll try to use fire on us, which will do, like, around 18-ish points of damage. Unlike Kumatora's fire that does, I think, in, like, the 60 to 90 range. But, uh, these guys, the Lingering Spirits, well, you can hear their music there, but they have a very high physical defense. Uh, you will t it'll take a long time to kill them with, uh, physical attacks, so I want to... Well, try to put them to sleep. It's only, like, a 72% chance, or 74, maybe, somewhere in that range. So, so I got a little fortunate there. Ow. Sort of. Oh. Uh, thanks? <laughs> Anyway, this guy's dead. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, they have a weakness to ice, so... Yeah, I'll show you how effective uh, regular physical attacks are. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to not combo, but you but you get the gist there. He has a lot more than... Uh, he actually has pretty high HP despite his defense, so you need that freeze there. <laughs> Oh, sweet. Although I would kind of prefer the Kumatora got to level up. Because she has very low HP compared to Duster at the moment. I didn't mean to fight both of them at once, but usually I can get that guy into a green uh, fight. The first guy there, but oh well. Use the old handy dandy rope snake. And here I get the flea charm, and since I've uh, used... Which I... 
already have one, but since I've used that uh, a little bit of uh, psychic points there, I'll go ahead and equip Kumatora. So, uh, since her uh, PP is already below 68, I think, right? Yeah. So, let's see. Got some more lingering spirits, which do actually, yeah, like that guy does there. That was a lingering spirit over there. Oh, by the way, the Lingering Spirit is basically immune to, like, every element other than ice, so, uh, including the bombs, so, I think. So, uh, yeah, uh, Wes's Thunder Bomb will do no damage to it, and also it has a chance of dropping an item called Magic Gelatin, which we should also pick up momentarily. Uh, and I think the n actually, I do want to fight him, but whatever. I do want to get a level up for Kumatora. I get the feeling we're going to get lots of nut bread from those guys. Ah, oh, sweet! Gotta level up for Kumatora. Good, good! Now, despite... Well, you know what? I'll wait for it to actually happen, then I'll say it. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't rush ahead, otherwise that other enemy will get into this battle, too. I don't want to fight both of them. Oh, there isn't much else you can do to the Lingering Spirit besides sleep, as far as status effects go, so just do that for Duster. I... There's no way I'm gonna catch this guy off guard. Is there? Anyway, you might remember this song, the one that starts out slow and speeds up, the Osohe Cape, who, uh, is, uh, well, you're guaranteed to get wall staples on him, and he's weak to fire, but I wouldn't bother since he's affected by the wall staples. Can't move! Hang on, this is about to... Okay. Yeah, you can see how weak she is. So, uh, yeah, Duster. Uh. Whatever. Anyway, thanks for the Thunder Bomb. Should defeat him this turn. Oh, yeah, just like that. So, yeah. Don't need to waste any fire on him, so. He also might drop, uh, Peculiar Cheese. And, uh, Kumatora does not like cheese, so she'll only recover, like, 20 points, uh, HP with it. Oh, get that! Magic gelatin! Restores, uh, 20 PP, so I'll give that to Kumatora for later use, even though I don't ever end up using these <laughs> for some reason. So, more barrel men. Ah! Yeah, those guys are, have a really high chance of giving nut bread, so... Might as well use it to keep Kumatora healthy, I guess, since she's taking a slight bit of damage. Do I... I don't even need it myself. Danger. Brooms? Okay. But yeah, you don't want to get in the way of the brooms. They are not enemies that you can fight. Oh, crud, crud, crud. Instead, they'll sweep you up and throw you in the trash can. And I kind of wanted to go over here anyway so that I could uh, sleep and get some of my uh, second points back. But, uh, hmm. Should be any time now. But anyway, I'll... If something doesn't happen along the way, I'm going to get back to those, uh... Those... What are they? Brooms? So... I'll be... Right back. Sweet! There we go. Yeah, Kumatora just got to level 12. Although, this feeling feverish thing, which is going to be explained to us by the word on the wind! Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, yeah, that's you. We get it. Yeah, one of our friends is not feeling very well. But she's not poisoned or anything like that. And she cannot run while she's feeling feverish like this. And there's nothing we can actually do about it other than just wait it out. Uh, unlike the last game, and I think actually like the first game, Earthbound Zero, uh, you don't learn spells as soon as you get a level up, uh, necessarily. Instead, you'll, uh, characters you can learn Psy will feel feverish like this, and uh, after you've walked around for a while, uh, they will get over feeling feverish and they'll learn new Psy abilities. Now, Kumatora just got to level 12. 
And she's actually going to learn two Psy abilities, but uh, for me, she's gotten feverish at level 11, despite the fact that like every walkthrough everywhere says you have to get to level 12 before she learns PK Thunder and Life Up Alpha. Yeah, Life Up. She actually does learn some healing, but she's only going to learn the Alpha and Beta. She doesn't learn anything better than that. So she's not going to be a great healer in the long run. She's more of a backup healer. But uh, anyway, we have PK Thunder, which is a bit different than it was in the last game. Uh, a heck of a lot more useful, uh, in my opinion, there. Uh, in the last game, it was... Uh, its accuracy was based on the number of enemies in the battle. The more enemies there were, the more accurate the game. So I found it to be totally useless. <laughs> because I wouldn't use it, because, yeah, I just wouldn't use it against multiple enemies. Because uh, there was better things to do, like fire, for example. <laughs> but in this game, the accuracy is actually based instead on the size of the enemies that you fight. Uh, otherwise, though, it is still a random, uh, it will still attack a random enemy. But uh, in this case, if you attack a small enemy, it'll do 60 points of damage. If you attack a medium or otherwise human-sized enemy, it'll have a 70% accuracy. And uh, against large enemies, it'll have an 80% accuracy. Uh, also, if it's a mechanical enemy, it'll have an additional 10% uh, accuracy. So since a large portion of this game's enemies are both large and mechanical. Uh, this tends to be uh, your best choice of uh, attack for, well, a lot of enemies in the game. So uh, I rely on this a lot, unlike the last game where I pretty much ignored it. Uh, I guess as long as we're here, I might as well say, uh, besides this, uh, Kumatora also learns, like, status attacks, unlike, you know, Ness in the previous game. Or more like Ness in the previous game. But, uh, yeah, she learns status effects this time, and will also learn a few stat debuffs, uh, eventually. But, uh, for now, this is what she's, you know, gonna have. So, uh, I'm gonna get back to the, uh, the brooms real quick, and I'll be right... Well, I'll meet you there. All right, let's avoid the brooms this time. Just be careful of the faster one. Who moves around very erratically, unlike the other guy who's a bit more uh, thorough and slow. We gotta beat Jerky here. Don't touch me. Get away from that. And a sprinting bomb, which I want. Actually, did that? I think that might have given that to Kumatora, didn't it? But that won't be so bad, though. We got a save frog here if you need it. You actually, you probably will want to use it. That went to Kumatora, right? Yeah, you know what? I'm totally fine with her having that sprinting bomb. Uh, let's see. I have all this nut bread because <laughs> of those barrels, guys. But anyway, be careful. Oh, not this one. Never mind. Oh, I could have had him. Oh, sweet. All right, Kumatora got a level 13. Nice. Okay, this part, be careful because... <laughs> There's actually three enemies here, and I guess I might as well show this one. So let's wall staple this guy. We definitely want to freeze these guys. I'm surprised. I haven't gotten anything from... I, I usually get like one or two magic skeletons from these uh, lingering spirits. Ooh. He stole... Do it. Dang it! Stole psychic points. Jerk! Pinning me down like that. Take that! Jerk. That's what you get. Ow! Thank you. And no effect on him. So, uh, yeah, you just attack him. Freeze on him. Ugh. That was terrible. Oh, well. He shouldn't wake up. Uh, well, he might wake up this turn, but... Oh, well, anyway, enough of that. Easy pickings. Yay. And over here, we get a magic tart, which... Oh, she already has it. Yeah, which raises, uh, restores 30 psychic points. Let's see, let's use all these nut breads since I happen to have them from all those barrels. Let's see, how... What is your psychic points looking like right now? Huh. Well, anyway, yeah, I should, uh... Since I very rarely use these anyway, I might as well use that. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, what Wes was looking for is actually behind this door. 
So what is that oh-so-precious item? We'll just have to find out next time on Let's Play Mother 3. Arrivederci!